She's been acting since the age of four. She starred in her first feature film in 2011 and she is known to many across the world, especially fans of the MCU, as Wanda Maximoff. But what are the best Elizabeth Olsen movies? Well, we're going to find out. Hello and welcome to Screen OD. If you're new to the channel, my name is Tim and I'm an editor and journalist who's been writing and talking about movies, TV and entertainment for almost 15 years. Not consecutively, I have taken a few breaks to sleep, eat and go on a couple of holidays, but you know what I mean. If you aren't new to the channel and you're returning, hey, good to see you again. Thanks so much for coming back. We're in for a treat today because we're talking about Elizabeth Olsen, who is is best known to many across the world as Wanda Maximoff in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. But did you know she's actually made lots of different movies and they're not all Marvel related and we're going to look at some of them today. Before we get going, just a quick reminder that if you haven't already subscribed, if you do subscribe to Screen OD, you'll get loads of great content direct to your feed. Right, that's the adverts over. Let's start our countdown of the best Elizabeth Olsen movies. And we're going to start with one is fresh out in the cinemas. It's only just arrived, but we're going to put it on the list anyway. At number seven on this seven of the best list is Doctor Strange, the Multiverse of Madness. Now, of course, Elizabeth Olsen has had some time now to develop her skills in the MCU. And in this latest foray into the world of Marvel, she had won great praise from critics and fans alike for her performance as Wanda Maximoff and the Scarlet Witch, opposite Benedict Cumberbatch's Stephen Strange. Although the film itself has had mixed reviews at times, one thing that most people appear to be certain on is that Olsen is a shining star at the centre of the Marvel world, and her performance is definitely worth seeing. Good, we're up and running. I always like to be up and running in a countdown. Now, we're moving on to number six now, and the film that's at number six is one that has been made quite a few times in different ways over the years. But this one is a good one because, as you would like to hear, it's got Elizabeth Olsen in it. At number six on our list is Godzilla. The 2014 movie is one of the many movies to try to capture the magic of the story of Godzilla. And on this occasion, they put a lot of effort into making a film that is not just about rampaging beasts, but also about the humans and the relationships in the story. At the centre of this is a great turn from Olsen opposite Aaron Taylor Johnson, who she of course works with in the world of Marvel. And she brings a humanity to a story that could otherwise just be very action adventure focused. At number five, we move into a different type of film completely for Elizabeth Olsen. Now, she is, of course, best known for performances in some very high-octane superhero adventures. And this isn't one of those. This is a very different type of film. And so I suppose it's about time I gave you the name of it. It's called Wind River. Elizabeth Olsen takes on the role of an FBI agent in this 2017 film who is on the hunt for the killer of a Native American young woman. She teams up with a wildlife officer on a reservation and they begin to try to piece together what has happened. However, quickly it seems that their lives may also be in danger as the plot thickens in a mysterious drama. Olsen once again puts in a great performance in a role that differs from the superhero movies very much that she has gained a reputation for excelling in. This 2017 movie sees Olsen play opposite Aubrey Plaza in another film that demonstrates a different side to her as a performer as she plays a self-obsessed social media influencer. The movie follows the story of Ingrid, played by Plaza, as she moves out to Los Angeles after the death of her mother to befriend her Instagram influencer idol. The pair strike up an unlikely friendship, but it can't last forever as secrets and lies begin to emerge that will see everything start to come off the rails in this very dark comedy. Okay, all right, okay, I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, I've been watching this for ages and I've so far only seen one Marvel film and that was right at the beginning and that's also a really new one. I want something that's a bit of a Marvel classic to put on my list. So I want to tick that off if we're going to carry on with this countdown. All right, fair enough. Avengers Infinity War, all right for you? Okay, there it is. It's Avengers Infinity War. 
The role of Wanda Maximoff is one that Olsen will always have with her, especially since taking the character beyond the movie franchises onto TV screens opposite Paul Bettany in WandaVision. This is the second time we see her character on the big screen, and in this movie we really see Wanda develop into a hugely important part of the MCU. Olsen finds a great balance in her performance between the emotionally charged relationship and power dynamics and the big budget action sequences that deliver an exhilarating and fun ride. Huh, a bit obvious, eh? You've gone and given us an Avengers film. Everyone knows that Elizabeth Olsen's in loads of those. Why can't you give us a film that's a little bit different? Something like, I don't know, uh, something that starts with Martha, Macy, May, Marlene. What about Martha, Macy, May, Marlene? Have you seen that? No? Well, that's uh, one of the earliest films that Elizabeth Olsen made. Perhaps you'll like it. Yes, we're going all the way back to 2011 in this very different story from many of the supercharged performances which are around this on our list. And this is about the story of a young cult member who escapes from the trauma of the cult to live in a quiet place with her sister and her sister's husband. The movie examines the trauma that her character has gone through, which we are reminded of through flashbacks and memories. This is a really accomplished performance requiring a great range from such a young performer. Right, so here we are. We're at number one on the list. So quick, doesn't time fly when you're having fun? Now, before we announce what number one, the best Elizabeth Olsen movie of all time is, just a quick reminder that if you're enjoying this video and you like what you see, why not hit that subscribe button and hit that like button? Not at the same time, because that might cause all sorts of problems on your phone, your tablet, or your computer or television. I don't want to be responsible for you breaking anything, but please do hit those buttons in one order or or the other and then you'll get the best content direct to your feed right number one on the list yeah okay we're going back to the marvel cinematic universe and okay we're going back to the avengers but we're now into endgame so that seems like it's fair enough did i just give you a clue yes of course at number one it's avengers endgame Although Elizabeth Olsen's Wanda may not appear in this movie as much as some of the others, her role in the film's epic battle is both exciting and essential to help keep the plot going and reach a satisfying conclusion. This performance has been many years in the making and showcases an emotional and a vulnerable side to a character, as well as a strong female character who is forced to deal with great loss as the film develops. This is a truly excellent turn from Olsen in a role that she could take and will take even further in more TV series and movies that come after it. Right, so that's it. That is, according to our countdown, the best Elizabeth Olsen movies of all time. But do you agree? And that's the important thing here because we want to know what you think are the best Elizabeth Olsen movies. You don't have to list all seven or top tens. You could just put one or two, but write them in the comments below and then we can discuss them as a Screen OD community. Of course, Elizabeth Olsen is only in her 30s and she's going to be making many, many more films over the next few years. So I'm sure we'll be revisiting this subject again very soon just a quick reminder that if you do enjoy what you see why not hit that subscribe button and hit the like button and hit all the buttons so that more people get to enjoy great content we'll make your streaming life better if you subscribe to the channel go check out all the other videos because we've got recommendations best lists and curated content that will make things simpler for you when you're choosing what to watch until next time Thanks again so much for watching and we'll see ya.